Today's journey to finding my roots is all about electrolyte powder. I go to the gym five days a week and work out pretty intensely and therefore I sweat quite a bit. And it's really important to replace those electrolytes. I'm a do-it-yourselfer and anytime that I can make something myself that's either better for me or more economical, I'm going to do it. And imagine my surprise when I found out that Element, L-M-N-T, has their recipe for electrolyte mix right on their website. I'll put a link in the description below that'll take you right to that and you can look at it for yourself. But in the meantime, I've done the math for you. I've come up with the recipe that I think is pretty accurate for what their packets contain. I've determined that about a half a teaspoon of this mix I'm gonna show you in 16 to 32 ounces of water is probably pretty close to what their serving size is. I'm going to um, adjust my camera so I can show you the ingredients that I have down here, and we're gonna get this mixed up. You'll be surprised how quick and easy it is. It is a little bit of an outlay of money to begin with because, you know, here, like the magnesium, is a pretty good size pack. I think it's... I don't, I can't see how many ounces this is, probably about a pound, and that's gonna last a long, long time. But um, I've got that, and I'll go ahead and tell you, this is magnesium malate. That's um, the recommended in their recipe, and in the research that I've done, it's one of the most absorbable magnesiums. And then we've got potassium chloride, and sodium chloride. I use Redmond's Real Salt. It's got additional minerals in it that you're not going to find in just salt that you get in the store. Now some of the um, sea salts you find or like the uh, Himalayan pink salts particularly are going to have some added minerals. Not added but not stripped out. But I've done the math and for 100 servings we're going to need 300 grams of salt. 40 grams of potassium chloride and 50 grams of magnesium malate. And each serving is going to be about one half teaspoon. So I've got my little micro scale here. I've got it set to grams and I'm just going to pour in 300 grams of salt. And I've got a jar here. I keep a jar at home and a jar at work because I put it in all of my water. If I didn't work out that day, I may not put quite a half a teaspoon to um, my 32 ounces. I might put about a quarter of a teaspoon. But I'm resetting my scale and I'm putting in the 40 grams of potassium chloride. I'm just gonna pour it out here. Try to get 39.83, close enough. You can see what that looks like. It's just a white powder. And make sure my scale is zeroed out in 50 grams of magnesium malate. Forty-nine point nine three. Again, close enough. We're gonna put that in there. This is just a funnel that I use in canning. It fits the top of a small mouth, regular mouth jar. It makes it easy for pouring powdered ingredients or any ingredients in powder or liquid. And you're just gonna put your lid on, make sure it's on good and just shake, 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 shake. And I'm gonna dump this back out and show you what it looks like. It'll probably be a little, you can't see that, but it powdered up a little bit. And I might put that in a bigger jar and shake it a little bit more, but it's mixed up pretty well, and I'd be pretty comfortable with using it just like that. And just like that, I've got 100 servings of an electrolyte mixed up. I'll carry this jar to work. I've got one here I keep at home. Now, I'm not a medical professional or a scientist or anything of that nature. I'm going by the recipe on the Element website. 
feel free to check it out for yourself and mix this up at your own discretion. But there you go, Element Electrolyte Mix. I decided to go to the Element website and look at their recipe just to make sure nothing had changed since the last time I accessed it and converted the recipe to 100 servings. And I'm glad I did because they've altered it just a little bit. If you go out and look at it, because um, you'll be using a little bit less salt, if you choose to, and a little bit less of the magnesium malate. Not a horrible uh, amount difference, um, not enough that I care to try to adjust what I just mixed up. I'll probably make the adjustments going forward. I've been using this for probably six or eight months, just like it is, and I don't feel like I've had any bad side effects by using the original recipe. So use your own judgment. Go out and take a look at that, and if you mix it up, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks for joining me on this journey to finding my roots, where today it was all about electrolytes. See you next time.